Welcome back guys and in today's video we've got major news in the EV toll space regarding a major 250 million deal that I imagine you have seen in the title. Now it's not just that we need to delve into this and see what it means for Joby who the deal was with and Toyota who have secured the funding for them. So I want to go into this deal and explain what it means for the EV toll space but in particular, Joby Aviation. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but anyone with Joby stocks today are sitting there rubbing their hands together. And what I'd like to know down in the comments, did anyone get in the beginning of April when we were at the bottom? We were around the 5.30 mark. And I feel like now an uh, Egypt because I feel like I should have got in then. And I did want to add more. I was adding more every now and then, but I couldn't fully commit even though I knew we would get back to these heights and this deal was always looming around the corner but I know in previous earnings calls we were getting slightly worried and slightly fearful I would say in terms of when is this deal coming out we've been getting told since November December time of 2024 six months ago that this deal was going to be in Q4 2024 and Q1 2025 and we were sort of Again, to a stage where we were questioning, was it going to be coming out or did they need to wait until they got the type certification over the line before they would get this 250 million investment? Now, without any further ado, I'm going to jump over to what we're going to cover in this video. And I think there's going to be a lot of hot points that we need to take and discuss. So I want to know what everyone thinks in the comments, especially my fellow Joby investors, because this is what this community is all about. We want to see you guys on the good days and we want to see you guys on the bad days and we can all keep each other motivated. So I think what we need to do at first is a quick overview on the Toyota investment. I'll then follow up with what is the purpose of this investment so that anyone that's new here can understand what is this all about. Um, we'll go on to discuss Toyota's stake in Joby and what that means. I'm going to discuss the impact on Joby's stock as I mentioned earlier on in the video, it's been looking very good. And I think there's probably a few people keeping an eye on these EV toll stocks because they've rallied. And I know it's all to do with the macro conditions, but I think there's going to get a lot more eyes on us now as we start all soaring towards the all time highs. We'll then go on to discuss the comparison with previous investments that have been made by Toyota and how much that was for and whether that will have an effect on Toyota and their involvement with Joby. And then last but not least, for all my Archer investors, which I know there are many, we're gonna discuss what does this mean between Joby and Archer? And does this mean that Joby are taking the lead in this race? So you wanna stick around for that, but without any further ado, I'm gonna jump straight into the video. So first and foremost, what I said we were gonna cover is the overview of the Toyota investment. So it's a 250 million Toyota deal. But what does that mean for Joby Aviation? Joby Aviation will receive $250 million from Toyota in May 2025. And it's part of a $500 million commitment to fund EV toll certification and production. So this is going to be vital. In the last earnings call, we heard from Joby that they are 60% of their way through certification. And the goal has always been to get to certification by the end of this year. So I don't know if this is Toyota giving their stamp of approval that we need to put full thrust on this now and get this certification over the line, or if additional funding was needed because Joby were running out of the funds behind it. But I'd like to think it was the former of those two. I think that they are flying through certification now and that they need this investment to really push them so that we can get that certification at the latest Q1 2026. But my fingers are crossed for 2025 by December that we will have that certification. And it would be a great day for all EV tolls, not just Joby. I think seeing one of the EV tolls certified and showing that there is a path to certification would be monumental for the entire industry because it shows that it can be done and the FAA are going to be accepting this type of technology. So this leads me on to the next part. 
what is the purpose of the investment? So what is the $250 million going to be used for? Well, it's obviously going to be used for certification and the commercial production of air taxis and the operational expansion of a infrastructure for a 2025 launch. Now, this is hypothetical. The 2025 launch is obviously dependent on the certification, but this might help them get the infrastructure in place and mean that they are able to actually fly once we get that certification. And I don't think that we're going to jump from one vehicle or 12 vehicles or 24 vehicles up to 250 instantly. But this is going to be a major jump from where we were previously, where there was no certification. We're just talking about a theory and it wasn't really a proven technology, but these are exciting times in this industry. So what does the Toyota stake mean? Is it just a 250 million pound investment because they believe in the product? Well, it's actually a lot more than that. Toyota now holds a 15.3% stake, making it Joby's largest shareholder. Now, if that's not a backing, I don't know what is. That is being convinced in a technology. So they currently have $894 million invested. Now, that is not all being given to Joby just yet. So there was $394 million that was given back in 2020. There's this $250 million that was only released on May 27th. And there's another $250 million tranche that will be coming, I imagine, later on in this year. But that hasn't been released yet. And I will keep you updated as soon as I find out. Don't worry, guys. I will be here to let you know. So one of the main questions we always get is, does this deal mean more than funding? Well, it does. It strengthens a manufacturing alliance with Toyota to enhance the eVTOL production efficiency. So Toyota have been manufacturing cars for years and they've got one of the best processes in the market today. And they're going to be able to use their expertise to help streamline Joby's production and make sure that we're making these eVTOLs as efficiently and for as cheap as possible. So. It's not just this major $894 million backing investment. It's also the expertise of a car manufacturing giant in Toyota. This is a huge deal and it benefits Joby massively. But Toyota are a major company that would not be making these sort of investments if they didn't think they were going to get something back in return, which shows their conviction in this EV talk technology. So has this deal had any impact on Joby's stock price? Well, I'll let my Joby fans in the comments tell me that. But I know all of our portfolios are sitting in a very healthy space. And the only problem that I have now is that I should have bought more. But then when you get down to the lows, you're so fearful from the highs that you were just at. It's almost impossible to have full conviction and just pile on in. But... Look at us now. We're sitting very, very healthily. Currently today, 29th of May, it's sitting at $8.54. And when we compare that from this time last week, we're looking at a 30% increase approximately. So now that brings me on to the last point, which is where does this leave the race of Archer and Joby? Well, it's a very interesting one at the moment. We obviously had the short report that came out for Archer questioning their manufacturing capabilities and where they were in that certification process. And that's something that we have covered on another video. But for this video, I'll just summarize it that there is a bit of fear in terms of their design process and where they were saying they were and if they are that developed just yet. Whereas Joby seem to be pushing on further. They're giving us exact percentages of how far they have moved along and at the moment, in terms of certification process alone, they are definitely ahead. And major news like this could be monumental in shifting investor confidence. I know that we say Joby don't really have great PR, but one thing I do like about them is that they only seem to release news when it's needed and they don't seem to be a bit of a PR machine just releasing it as and when. This is major for Joby and I think the stock price has really reflected that. But what do I know? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. Now, if you're interested in eVTOLs and not just Joby and Archer, we have done an interview with the CEO 
of New Horizon just here and make sure to give it a watch because they've got a very interesting project and he was very insightful into the EV toll space, giving us a lot of answers to key questions that we've had before. Anyway, for me, I'll see you next time.